the opportunity to come to such a conference and to meet like-minded people and to meet people who are on the cutting end edge of homeopathic research, to meet people who have a lot of experience in this world and who have seen and worked on both sides of the field, both in the conventional medicine and in the homeopathic field in terms of research, has been more than invaluable. This is one of the best conferences I've ever been to. It's spectacularly well organized. This is a nodal event, so it's, there's something special about it. The conference in Barcelona and in general uh, the Homeopathic Research Institute filled a gap because there was a gap uh, in the field of research in homeopathy. To see all the other people doing research, having successes, see the difficulties, uh, but it's been hugely inspiring and given us the energy to carry on on this long journey. To brainstorm, to ask people, to get ideas, this has been a unique opportunity because we want the research protocol to be as tight and as correct and as ethical as possible. And to me, this event is uh, particularly special. I think that this had a sense about the timing, the, the fact that it bring, it's bringing together basic research, clinical research, provings, and also, in more importantly, that it's bringing together the two communities of homeopaths, the medical homeopaths and the homeopaths, who were formed primarily as homeopaths, and that we can each see that each of us is striving for best research in homeopathy. People who are passionate about details, about rigour. So this, this is a wonderful group here. We wish also to allow others outside our community to understand how homeopathic medicines work and how effective they can be. Research is so important because they give to you the possibility to be uh, insert in the system. But in the other side, to be insert in the system gives you the possibility to make the research. So is a, a balance between the two. You need, as we have written in our regional plan, to reach a sufficient level of efficacy, demonstration proof of efficacy, evidence-based, and also uh, to give an answer to the demand of the citizen. Because in Italy there is about 20% and in Tuscany maybe more uh, people asking for complementary medicine. And one of the principles of the region is equal access to the health service in public system. A homeopathy is in my opinion in the shadow of complementary medicine. So, uh, and that's very difficult to explain to decision makers in Brussels what is the difference. And I think um, uh, homeopathy should try to develop its own profile uh, and also its own research uh, because it is a, a specific therapeutic system, a specific therapeutic approach. And uh, we should explain this approach to the decision makers and uh, for this reason I think the initiative of the conference is, is great. Homeopathy to me has always been primarily a science on which we base an art. So, and, and it's been a mystery ever since Hahnemann wrote the organons to how our medicines work. And, but he got it dead right. He got it dead right, but in his language of his day. And now we're elaborating that in modern scientific terms and in modern scientific uh, methodology. I would really ask and insist at uh, the Homeopathic Research Institute to, uh, uh, to get to have, uh, to organize a clear follow-up to this uh, conference and next conferences and so on. And also try to come slowly in discussion with decision makers. The homeopathic community needs this absolutely.